In this session we're going to talk about creating your cover art or your channel art as YouTube calls it for the new YouTube one channel layout. Now recall in a previous session we talked about the one channel layout. If you go to youtube.com slash one channel you'll see the information on it and if we scroll down a little bit we'll actually see a link to get the specifications for making the channel art. Now if we click on that we're going to get these specifications. First of all, the full image is going to be 2120 by 1192 pixels. Now that's going to be the image that shows up on large devices like televisions. And then we have these other areas in here. First of all, we have the desktop max area, and that is 2120 by 350. That's that green area here. And then it also shows you what's going to show up in the tablet version. And then finally, what's called the logo safe area, this small area in here which is 1280 by 350 is what's going to show up on mobile devices. So there are any number of ways to tackle this. What I did is I created three images. I created a mobile image or my logo safe image uh, with the 1280 by 350 dimensions and then I created my desktop image which is the logo safe area with kind of a, a background gradient and then I have a larger background image that I place that one on which is a shot of the supermoon that I took a few years ago let me show you what I mean by that in Photoshop first of all I start with what I call my logo safe area which is where I want the name of my channel my tagline and my logo to show and that image is 1280 by 350 so that is what's going to show up in all devices including mobile devices. I then took that image and I copied it onto a larger image which is going to be the desktop image but I gave it a gradient background and I did that because I want it to blend in smoothly with the background image that I created. Now I created this image Let's take a look at the size as 2120 by 360. Now the reason I made it 360 and not, let's just pop back to that specification area. The desktop area says 2120 by 350. Now the reason I made mine 360 is because I have a different background image. So I don't want, I want a little bit of a, of a run over here or a bleed going here so that I don't have any strange transitions showing up. So I make this image 2120 by 360 high and then I set it on top of an image that is the full size which is 2120 by 1192. So once we save this finished version then we can upload it to our channel and it's going to show us what it's going to look like on each individual device. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay I'm back to my channel here and I'm going to hover over it. I'm going to see a little edit button here and I can either edit links or edit channel art. Edit links we're going to talk about in a later session. But if we click on edit channel art, we can upload our image and once it's finished uploading it's going to show us how the image is going to look on all of these different devices. So first of all here is how the image is going to look like on a desktop. I have my main logo area and then the gradient on either side. Here's how it's going to look like on the mobile device so that my just my logo area shows up. And then here's what it's going to look like on a larger screen or a television screen. Now I can either adjust the crop or I can select it and add it to my channel. And when I select it, this is how it's going to show up on my desktop. So the other thing you really want to pay attention to is that you don't make this area over here too tight because you are going to have your avatar show up here in the upper left area. And then right down here you also want to make certain you don't have any critical information here because this is where your website link and your social links are going to show up. Now that's certainly one way to tackle the problem but if we take a look at some of the other examples, if we go back to the youtube.com one channel, we'll see that most people create either use a much larger image that looks good either smaller or larger or they use a collage effect. So for instance in the YouTube example they have this large image that will look good on the desktop, mobile devices and then also on the larger television screens. Same thing for the other examples they use. You see images that are kind of collages that can look really good blown up or look good also if they are cut off for the smaller devices. Same thing here with annoying orange. This is going to be the mobile area. Over here is the 
uh, desktop extended area. And then uh, Laura in the kitchen takes, you know, here's her logo area here. It's going to show up on all devices. And then she just added some other image over, images over here to the side that blend in nicely with her logo area. And so you can get really creative uh, by doing this, or you can just keep it uh, simple and basic and using one large image or cut and paste, sort of like I did, or use a collage. And that does conclude the session.